All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we are here with the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor Ranked Doubles video, and today I'm here with this Roserade team that I put together. Um, I'm not too sure how good the team itself is. I don't think it's very good, but um, this is my first time using Choice Band. I'm pretty sure my first time choosing to, aside from like maybe rental teams had it, but like Choice Band, I'm I've used Choice Scarf like Draco Zolt and Dracovish before, but Choice Band is like an entirely different story. It's like because you're not. Cause like those are like different because like you're going for the the vicious rend or the bolt beak but this is just like damage is also only there for sun teams like the like rocks only there to fight charizard because otherwise i do sort of lose to it to an extent so hopefully we don't even run into one um the roserade the idea is just that it's really strong it has magical leaf with technician which is why i'm running that by the way before i get comments asking about it because i've already gotten so many comments about my lopany before because I had like Klutz with Assault Vest, but then I had like Switcheroo and like it doesn't, doesn't work with Assault Vest, but it does because you have Klutz and yeah. So yeah, this is the team and I will be back when I get into the first battle. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I am back with the first battle. I think they might be hard trick room. They're a little like interesting. Also, I, uh, I, I've i learned one thing about when you're higher rank, I'm only like rank 1400 now, but like when you're higher rank, just by not playing for a day, you lose as much rank as a loss. I lost like 300 like placements. I was 1100, now I'm 1400 just from not playing. It's crazy. All right, um, all right. Wow, Roserade is tough here. Roserade sucks here, but it's actually really good for Scrafty because I do have Dazzling Gleam. Hmm, hmm. Well, I'm also immune to the Amoongus. Oh. Grimmsnarl or Roserade should stop Trick Room, I believe. I don't see how they could possibly Trick Room when I have these. Let's say use Scrafty. But I can max Ooze, so it's like... Hmm. I'll go with that. I'm gonna bring... Primarina, I think, is pretty important here for stuff like the Alolan Marowak and the... I guess it could sorta hit Corviknight. Oh, it's only good for the Alolan Marowak, but I also- Oh, maybe Urshifu's very good here! Hold on, Urshifu's amazing here! Except they do have a Hatterene. But still, Urshifu's not bad here, I'm gonna bring the... Uh, Talonflame. Talonflame. It's very good here, actually. It's very not bad here at all, because I have Taunt and stuff, so... Alright, let's see where we can go from here. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about with my team is G-Max Lapras, but I haven't run into one at all this season, maybe like once. And I also have Urshifu, which hopefully can deal with it. Because I was going to bring Draco Zolt, but then I really wanted Life Orb on Roserade. And I don't like using different items than that on Draco Zolt, because it's not very fun. Maybe Choice Scarf is okay, but eh. So they are going for this. I can just fake out the Hatterene and go for the Max Ooze into it. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Max Ooze Hatterene. Fake out Hatterene as well. And that's that's Trick Room gone. Like, there's no way, right? Unless they also Dynamax and they just go for a Max Mindstorm or something into me. Which would suck, by the way. Didn't really think about that. But they could just attack Roserade and blow me away. Let's go Dynamax Roserade. You're not supposed to do this because you have Magical Leaf, but... I wanted the special attack boost. And also, I think Sludge Bomb is slight... Or Max Ooze is slightly stronger than Sludge Bomb. Maybe like by a little bit. They protected the Hatterene! Bro, that might have been your biggest mistake you could have made, but you definitely spored my Grimmsnarl, so I kind of hate you. But that's okay. That's okay. I expected to. What if they, like, clear smog? What if they clear smog my Roserade? Because I, I can kill them next turn with a plus one. I can blow them away. But, like, what if they clear smogged? Because then I won't. Well, I probably still would, actually. Because I was through Protect and did so much. Because I am Life Orb. They just Giga Drain the Grimmsnarl. Okay. So they don't spore me, which is great. Actually, I have no idea why they did that. Maybe they expected a taunt, but I don't have taunt. So I ooze the Hatterene, and I'm going to go for the... Um... I'm going to fake tears the Amoongus. Start lowering its special defense. Maybe I can kill it with a resisted move. Actually, no, wait. Ooze was, ooze is not resisted. Never mind. Corviknight. Smart, smart. Very smart, very annoying, but very smart. Fake tears you. Glad I did not do that into the Corvid Knight. Not that I was going to anyway because it's Hatterene, but because it would mirror, it would it would magic bounce and then they would mirror armor if it was Corvid Knight. So that's yeah. All right, so they do spore this time. Super annoying. Now I have an issue with this Corvid Knight that I can't really deal with because I don't really have the best things on my team for that. 
Uh, and they're gonna probably be able to. All right, I'm gonna ooze the Amoongus, and I'm gonna go for the. Doesn't matter, but I can go for the Thunder Wave on the Corviknight. All right, buddy, you're gonna Dynamax. You're gonna Dynamax. Never mind. That just that was just a long, long way of sitting there doing nothing. Okay, Max ooze. This should do decent damage. They're minus two. And plus one. That oh yeah, okay, brings it down to Sash. Okay, not bad, not bad. Focus Ash on Moongus is a little bit weird because you're not supposed to die in one hit anyway. And I'm kind of mad that you are the one to focus Ash because you also normally get faked out. And that's just not a good item compared to the rest of your team. But hey, I'm not I'm not judging. You're good. You're fine. This is okay. Wow, this is not okay anymore. Okay. Um, my best things to deal with, with Corvin Knight are physical attackers. <laughs> I have a problem. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna lose this Corviknight because I can't beat it, because I don't have an electric move. And I think that's like all it's weak to aside from like fire, obviously, but like. <sighs> this is annoying. I'm gonna Gleam, should KO the Amoongus, I'm gonna go Talonflame. And I have to taunt the Corviknight, but I think by then it's too late. Like, if I, if I taunt them now, it's too late. They're probably just gonna Brave Bird Roserade anyway. They protected a Moongus! This is whack! Okay, I should have expected that because they were 1 HP, but dang it, dude. Not that I could have done much more otherwise to the Corviknight, so. That actually doesn't do bad damage. I am plus 3, so. Or plus 2. Plus 3? Wait, but it doesn't matter. I'm dead. This is annoying! My Rosary! <laughs> I can't beat this Corviknight, dude. I, I don't see how I can beat the Corviknight. Unless Grimmsnarl wakes up this turn and I can fake him out. But... I'm gonna have a tough time. I'm gonna have a really, really tough time. Or I could have gone Urshifu and got a crit, I guess. That wouldn't have been bad. I could have gone for Wicked Blow. Whatever. I should have gone for that. Actually, I should have gone for that. Alright, how do I want to play this? I'm faster than Corviknight regardless. With, um... With everything. Because I'm not gonna go for Spirit Break. Do I try and fake them out? Do I fake out the Amoongus instead? Probably don't need to. Probably don't need to worry about that. Alright, I'm going to fake out the Corviknight, attempt to anyway, and Flare Blitz. Please work. Please wake up. I am begging you to wake up, Grimmsnarl. Do it now. Oh, they have a Scratch. These are the last Pokemon. Hold on. Hold on. This is a W. This is a W. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Get him. Wake up, Grimmsnarl. Oh... Maybe it's better if you don't see this Grim Snarl. I'm sorry. Okay. Alright. So, I got destroyed by Corvin. I, I literally, that's it. Like, there's there's nothing I can do now. I don't see a way out of this. Maybe I Tailwind, or actually, I only need a Tailwind at the Airstream. Well, enjoy that one damage. No! I lost to a Corvin. I, that did nothing! Bruh! Bruh! You can't make this up. It's over. You can't- Bro. Corviknight's kinda good, I'm not gonna lie. Cause they're like, I guess Dracozolt's in the meta right now, so not really. But, the one team I chose to not run Dracozolt on, I ran into Corviknight. Don't you love it? I love Pokemon, how I only run into what I lose to when I don't have the counter to it. I guess that's, that's why you run the, the team that can beat anything if you try hard enough. Well, they airstream, didn't they? So I, I I get outsped now. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Thunder wave, thunder wave, and wicked blow. Hopefully this can KO. It's a critical hit, but I I mean that's a lot of HP to get through. That sucks, dude. Completely shut down by a Corvin Knight. Which, by the way, okay. So I, I mentioned it a second ago. But whenever I run, like, a certain Pokemon, I always run into the perfect counter for it, dude. I'm running Roserade with Grass, Poison, and Fairy. That's stupid! I, I should have expected a fake out there, but that sucks! But uh, literally, my, my goal today was to use Roserade, and they, they ran this. That just blows. I was, also, I was Focus Sash, and they faked me out. Yeah, this was not my battle. This was not my battle. That's tough. It's unfortunate. But did y'all see how much that Roserade did to the Amoongus, though? Just saying. Just saying. It did a lot to the Amoongus. That was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, um, I have no means to beat Corviknight. 
Oh. No. They have four Pokemon left and I have one. Nah, I can't win. That sucks! God dang, dude. I got blown away. <laughs> I got destroyed! Okay. Um. I'm bad. That's that's about it. I'm pretty bad. But it's fine, because I'll get better. I, my, I'm not getting top 1000 back ever again. Never again. Well, I, I was there for a bit though. It was pretty cool. I did beat a good player. So anyway, I will be back when I get into the next battle. Okay, now I'm battling number 348, which is a high rank, which is scary. And Roserade sucks here because they have a Noivern and a Durant and a Toxtricity. Bro. But it's really good against the rest of them. So I kind of want to lead it, but they're probably going to lead like Noivern, Durant, or something of the sort. Um, I actually... Ooh. I lose to Durant. Don't I? Not necessarily... Ah, Toxtricity is also a pain for me. I, I Now that I'm looking at it, I, I kind of struggle with that. I'm going to bring Rosary because I kind of have to for the Primarina and the Rhyperior. And I think I'm going to bring... Uh, I think Lycanroc or Urshifu is my best bet here. And I think it's going to be Urshifu. It's going to be tough not having Talonflame because they do have Noivern. But I'm going to go for the Thunder Waves and hope those can work out. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I know a Max uh, a Max Geyser from Primarina knocks out the Durant in one hit, unless they are Focus Sash, which is a thing that people seem to just run randomly nowadays. So, all right, Toxtricity is so terrifying, dude. It's uh, it's gonna mess me up. I can already feel it. I can already feel it, dude. It's gonna screw me over. They're, they're gonna lead Durant Toxtricity and go for Sludge Wave, and I'm gone. That's it. That's the game. That's the entire game. Oh, please don't do what I just said. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay, that's, that's, that's a Moon Ball. Okay! I don't know why they did that. That sucks, actually. I didn't expect the Trick Room versus my team, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um. Okay. A little difficult, but... I can blow you away with this. Is this worth it? This is worth it. Die. Be gone, Dusclops! Be gone! I am Primarina! I am not Life Orb, so I might not KO. If I was Life Orb, I probably would KO, but I might not KO, but we're gonna try it, because Trick Room sucks! I wonder if they Dynamax. Probably not. I, I would be surprised if they did here. But they might. If they have Energy Ball, that's kind of whack, by the way. I just want to point that out ahead of time, in case they do have Energy Ball. Because I know Primarina gets Energy Ball, but I'm not running it, because I actually wanted Max Geyser. That's why that's whack if they, uh, if they, if they max, by the way, because most don't run it. Don't run Hydro Cannon. They helping handed. Then why'd you even lead Dusclops? They're totally gonna Energy Ball. Or they're gonna Moon Blast my Grim Snarl. Don't do it. That's my Grim Snarl. That's my support, bro. Please don't do it. Please don't do that. Oh, they gleamed. But I survive. And I eat my berry. Sweet. And I also might be faster. I might go for an actual... No, I, I go for Starfall. I was gonna say, I'm gonna go for a Max Strike. No, that's a stupid idea. Um, That's really good damage. That's really, really good. I now wish I could Hyper Voice. Maybe I shouldn't have Max immediately, but whatever. I can Spirit Break you? Or I, uh, I really want to double. I really do. I want to double the... Uh, I want to fake tears and uh, Starfall the Primarina. I really do. But I can't. Oh, but they might be faster than Grim Snarl. I could fake tears and then KO the. No, oh, that's a bad idea, though. But is it? Uh, uh... Screw dude. Spirit Break you. And go for the Starfall into you. Let's do it. YOLO. The Helping Hand again. I, is their Primarina faster than my Grim Snarl? We speed tied. God dang it, dude. I didn't think we speed tied. I was I was just hopeful, because I think I have like 12 points of speed, like 12 speed EVs or something weird like that in my Primarina. I have no idea. I don't remember. That's, that's, that's some damage, though. That's some really good damage. 
I don't have Dazzling Gleam personally, so I won't be able to do that. I probably should run that, but whatever. Maybe I go Roserade here? Roserade's not bad with a, the Gleam, as long as I win the speed tie. Does, is Magical Leaf spread, or is that Razor Leaf? I think it's Razor Leaf. I don't think Magical Leaf is spread. Are you spread? No, you're not. But I could just go for this. And then go for the... Y'all just geyser. There is not doing to the Dusclops. Yeah, let's go Let's go for that. Oh, I kind of miss having Grimmsnarl now. Cause I, the idea behind this team was Grimmsnarl plus Roserade. Because it was kind of cool, because like I could fake tears and then just do big damage with a Magical Leaf, which usually doesn't do big damage, but it has Technician Boost, and that was going to be the, the whole idea there. And I'm not getting to do that at all today. So, that's nice. I hope they have Rhyperior in the back, though, because I'm in a great spot for Rhyperior, because both these Pokemon probably go down this turn, I would imagine. Maybe they expect a Sludge Bomb and it's going to Rhyperior now. No, they just do that. That doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter. Because I'm in the rain, so it should have still KO. Although it does give them a chance for an attack. Probably should have thought that through. Should have expected that. Maybe I should have just gleamed out right. No, they're getting the attack off. That's whack. Didn't do much but whack. That's fine. I go for the geyser. And now my Dynamax is gone and they have two Pokemon. So what if, if one of okay. If they have Rhyperior, I think I'm in an okay spot. Cause then they basically only have one Pokemon, because Rhyperior is not surviving. But I'm a little bit concerned about the chance they don't have Rhyperior. That's Toxtricity. That's tough, buddy. That's tough, buddy. That's not- that's not Rhyperior. That's not Rhyperior. That's not Rhyperior. Okay. What is my play here? I don't have- I don't have Sleep Powder. I have Urshifu in the back that is Focus Ash, so if I can KO one of these Pokemon, I could win. I should win. Um, guaranteed. So I just need to KO something. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast. Or I could just Hyper... No, it's a bad idea. I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way. I'm going to double Noivern. They're going to... They, I, they do a Dynamax, but... Uh, they probably... They Dynamax Noivern. Because why would the Dynamax Toxtricity? Because you lose your... Your Punk Rock boost. God dang! That's not actually that bad, though. It's not that terrible. I should have Ice Beamed, but it's not that terrible. Why didn't I Ice Beam? I literally had the move. What's the point? If I don't KO because I'm Moon Blasted, I am so mad, but I'm probably dead anyway. It probably doesn't matter. I, I, I don't think my move mattered here regardless because of the fact they had a Noivern on the field, which was very good and very convenient. I so should have Ice Beamed. I don't think it matters. They're probably just going to blow me away with an Overdrive. Bruh. I got wrecked, and I don't think I'm using Roserade anymore. <laughs> Goodbye! I'm not using Roserade ever again. <laughs> I might. If this wasn't Roserade's fault, I just suck. But, like, that's tough. That sucks. That, those were just not good games to run into. I also built this team at, like, midnight, and I was very tired. And I actually am still very tired, because it's still mid it's 1230 in the morning right now. So, I can also blame that. But, like... That sucks. How much does a Sucker Punch do to Toxtricity? Just out of curiosity, how much does this do? That's not bad! Okay. So if I did manage to somehow KO the thing last time, last turn, or I could have gotten rid of Toxtricity with Wicked Blow plus the Sucker Punch. Ew, that would have been great. Didn't happen that way. Didn't happen that way. I could have Wicked Blown this turn, but that wouldn't have mattered. Anyway, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. GG's. That's tough, dude. That's tough. Well, I tried. I tried. I don't know if I'm going to use Roserade much more. It's not bad in theory, but I just didn't run into the ideal situations for me. So, I would do another one usually, but I'm very, very tired right now. So I'm going to call it there. So thank you everybody for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all the fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.